Asteroid Belt, Missile Attack. We are receiving an urgent message. It's from Commissioner Beltino. Fox, please respond. This is Commissioner Beltino Toad. Dad, you're okay. That's great news. Oh, Slippy, there are two. Hello, son. Hey, of course I'm here. Commissioner, I'm glad you are on hurt. Get here as quickly as you can. I've got something important to tell you. Roger that. We'll set a course to your location. Take care, Commissioner. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. Wait there, Dad. I'll be there soon. But first, we need to do something about the enemies in the sector. Let's get every last core. Rob, pre prepare all the ships for launch. Consider it done. <sighs> Enemy sighted. On my way. Let's go. Alright, and as you can see, already sort of looking a little bit different. There's only two missiles and one base. They've all made the way to the asteroid belt. I don't believe it. This may be the most dangerous foe we've ever faced. Alright, now, a uh, thing with asteroids, if you go through them, as you can see, you're sort of, um, like, your, your, how the fuck do I call it, your, um, path, I guess, you know, your route, I'm guessing, is going to be really, really fucked up, so, you know, this actually, uh, needs, you know, I'm actually gonna sit here with Slippy, it's not really going to be anything all too bad, holy shit, this is pretty awkward, you know, I'm just gonna end my turn here, uh, the missiles are going to be, uh, really, really close to us, so, you know, enemy launch another missile, I'm going to take care of this one with Fox over here, um, hopefully that actually intercepts it, I really, really, truly hope it does, and here, I believe, Slippy's gonna be able to take uh, care of both, and, yeah, I think that's, that's pretty much it, <laughs> that's really, really good, Alright, Missile Slipstream, hell yeah. Alright, so as you can see, it looks like this uh, stage is going to be a little bit uh, shorter than usual, because, well, if there's only missiles to take care of, uh, you know, those aren't, like, super uh, bad to deal with. Alright, so I'm just going to be get my charge shot ready in order to get the missile, you know, down as fast as I can. Because, you know, it's kind of annoying to, like, sort of deal with both the beacons and the mi uh, and the missiles themselves. I mean, I know it's, like, sort of, like, a, you know, st I, I, I can see it, like, being, like, a fun mechanic. But, you know, it's, um, I don't know, it's a little bit annoying to me. <laughs> Alright, Slippy, let's do this. Uh, now, let's see, let's see. Uh, so far, if you have been watching at, uh, until this point, uh, ending one, you know, there's, uh, obviously, uh, we've only been able to fight with a Slippy and a Fox, uh, follow the beacons and the missile, whatever. Uh, but there's actually a lot more fighters that we are going to be able to, uh, use later on. Um, and all of them are super, super hype. Uh, let me see, all of them, like, with their different stats, you know, their, their bombs, their health, their dashes and all that good shit, and let me see, there we go, nice. I don't know what that 96 kind of stands for, but, you know, it's whatever, I guess. Uh, is that, like, the amount of hits that we have so far? I have no clue. Alright, so one more, let's do this now. I'm pretty sure, well, okay, I'm not gonna talk, but, uh, don't quote me on this, I believe that the base that we're gonna be, um, taking down, uh, is only able to spawn missiles and shit, and the, you know, the bases that look like pyramids, uh, are going to be able to only spawn, uh, like, more enemies and shit, so... It's, uh, it's kind of a good thing to strategize and, you know, play around them, because it's really, uh, important that you know what thing does, uh, which, holy fucking shit, this is, uh, obviously the more time you wait is gonna be more difficult, so, uh, you wanna take it as, you know, fast as you can. <laughs> Took care of it, that's pretty good. I don't know if there's, like, a time limit to it, if you take too long, then, you know, the game's gonna, you know, basically say fuck you. Uh, but let's see, with Fox, I- Oh, hell yeah, Falco! All right, there we go, Falco again, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I know, I'm behind schedule, but don't worry, I was equipping my Sky Claw with a multi-lock. You have only two turns remaining, uh, the enemy, so I'm gonna leave Slippy here, obviously, in order to take care of this shit, and Falco, you're gonna take care of the base. Uh, this is going to be, uh, able to give me some time to talk about, uh, Falco's features, which are actually pretty good. Um, it's uh, definitely one of the more more difficult fighters to use. Now, I'm not saying difficult as in, you know, he has, like, some other mechanics, but uh, there's two things that makes um, that make his ship, like, a little bit more, um, I guess, you know, uh, skill skillful to use. Number one, it does... Uh, well, okay, I'm gonna talk about that whenever we get to the stage. But yeah, it's uh, a little bit more difficult to use than, you know, say, Slippy or Fox. Um, alright, let's see, so right away, let's just go ahead and do this shit. Oh my fucking god, that was a really close, dude. 
Uh, you could potentially YOLO this shit and just go like, uh, you know, take care of the missile, but if you miss one of the beacons, you know, you're gonna be done for, so you wanna do that really quick. Alright, surface base at 138 minutes, that should be pretty good. So, another feature that I just, uh, remembered about Falco, he only has one bomb. Now, let's see, I'm gonna... Oh, that missed fucking horribly. Yeah, that was pretty fucking awful. Alright, let's see, let's see. Um, so yeah, he doesn't really have a lot of health. Holy shit, dude. He doesn't really have a lot of health, and, uh, you know, as you can see, he only has one bomb. And he has a multi-lock, meaning that he can actually do this to, like, uh, you know, uh, to, to multiple enemies at once. Let's see, these coins, I have no fucking clue what they do to me. I'll pick up all the coins, you will earn extra, uh, one extra ship, alright. I don't really need that, I mean, we already have, like, like, seven, so, you know, I'm, I'm actually gonna skip with that. Let's see, multi-lock, I kinda wanna show this, there we go. So, you know, it's actually really, really uh, cool to do this. Uh, let me see, please, give me the, uh, all of this shit. Oh, come on, dude. And there's only one more to go. I haven't really been picking up the course, you know, it's actually pretty bad with me, sorry. <laughs> And, as you can tell, the enemies are also able to do their, um, you know, their uh, barrel rolls, which, uh, let me see, come on. Oh, shit, dude. I don't really want to touch that. Uh, alright, let's go, let's go. And, the oh, my fucking god, it actually took that shit. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So, yeah, the, uh, multiple lock is actually, you know, a little bit more, um, kind of time-consuming to use. It's really, really helpful whenever you get used to it, but for me, you know, I, I rather focus on just one enemy at a time, to be honest. And, let's see, you will shut, uh, you will be shut down if you miss one of the beacons, and, alright. Looks like I have this, it's pretty good. There we go. Pretty nice, so I've been recording for 50 minutes, so I'm actually, uh, enjoying this game a lot. Uh, but let's see, let's see, uh, we do have a couple of things to take care of right now. Uh, first of all, Asteroid Belt. Okay, so we have uh, three more stages to take care of here at Ending 1. But as of now, let's just go ahead and, and enjoy the victory that we have just achieved. Good flying, gents! What was that? Bio Brain! What a twist of things. Alright, let's see, I'll be using Slippy, I don't potentially remember what this uh, boss does or what we have to do. But, you know, I just choose it because, you know, uh, Slippy has more uh, more bombs and, you know, it's potentially going to help me out a lot. You know, since I don't actually remember what this thing does. <laughs> Alright, let's see, so I'll be tossing this over here, hopefully it does, you know, some nice damage, and it actually did. Alright, alright, doing super hype right now, oh shit, got one. Yeah, baby, whatever, and let me see, I would actually really like to beat this thing, like, really fucking quickly. And it looks like time is something that I cannot spare right now a lot, so I'm just going to be tossing this shit right here. Have one more bomb, I don't know if that's going to be working out, I got some time, so that's pretty nice. Alright, let's see, where's this fucking thing? And, alright, go, 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 go. Oh, shit, dude, what the hell is this fucking thing's problem? I don't know where this fucking thing came from, but it's whatever. We're gonna be able to take it down. And, alright, you're all over this. Okay, a couple more things to... Oh, shit! There we go. Pretty hype. Pretty hype. Usually I love every dog fight, but that one was unpleasant. The important thing is that we made it through! All enemy contacts destroyed. Let's get back to the station. <laughs> Alright, and we get an extra life for, you know, whatever the fuck you wanna call it. <laughs> You made it! Oh, look! The whole gang's here! Are you okay, Dad? I'm great, son. Out of bed, I'm full of, full of beans, what the fuck? But more importantly, I have a c uh, come across some critical information. What do you mean? It's about those dastardly anglers. They are building a base on the floor of the Sea of, uh, uh, of the Venom Sea. That's nuts! Everyone knows the Venom Sea is extremely acidic. Nothing can survive down there. I'm sure you're, you remember the villain Andros. Well, I think he has something to do with this. Andros? Andros developed a new bioweapon on Venom. He used it to evolve himself and seize control of localized life forms. Wait, wait, 
You're saying this bioweapon contains Andros's DNA? And that it causes living creatures to follow his orders? That's bad news. So, what does that mean for us? That's harder to say, but... We know Andros is fiercely intelligent. And when you combine that with his lust of power, I think you're in for a fight like nothing you faced before. Why do we always have to fight this loser? Yeah, yeah, enough talk. Let's blow something up. Fox, you're really just gonna go to Venom with just two wingmen? Don't you need Crystal's help too? <sighs> I hear a rumor that he, that the Cornerian Air Force has itself a hot new pilot. And by hot, I don't just mean talented. <laughs> Man, I'm hilarious. Yeah, so, Fox. Falco's a jerk, but he's right. You need to patch things up with Crystal. I agree, Fox. Now, I do need to know all the details, but I know the future of Lydalet is in your hands. It's time to bury the hatchet and move on. It's your job to bring out the best of your team. Your whole team.